Did you have fun at the bird shows? I did. I used to call owls spooky hoos. <laughs> Due to the current climate, there's no one really who can help me do the crossword. So I thought I'd delve deep into the YouTube cinematic universe and see if anyone can give me a helping hand. I'm Max Fosh, and welcome to Street Smart. Click for Taz, hello. Hello. Crosswords. Do you do them? Uh, as a dyslexic, not often. <laughs> Joe routine. Uh, yeah, I know routine, but I just hate them. Yeah, sometimes as like a treat at the end of an exam in English, we get like a crossword, I think, in the, at, at the end of the paper. Yeah, we normally have biscuits. <laughs> I, I get my B's, my P's and my D's mixed up a lot. Okay, so hopefully peanut butter doesn't come up, otherwise we're gonna get peanut putter. Crosswords. Okay. Um, I saw you had Eve Cornwall on. Yes, yes. Yeah. I bet she was good. She's the brains of the operation. She's good at everything. And the legal protection. What what type of law do you do? I do corporate law. Oh, the, the funnest of all the laws. Did you any help with that many Hey, well, <laughs> it's like you know the format. Um, I've got the quick crossword because, hey, we, we're all a bit pressed for time at the moment. First okay. one, easy one. Unmarried man, eight letters. Unmarried man. Are you an unmarried man? I am. Widowed. No, that's death. That's death. Um, well, the reason that he is unmarried is not being specified. Bachelor. B-A-C-H-E-L-O-R. Bachelor. Thank you. So this is you then, mate. Me, mister. I like this. This is raising my self-esteem. <laughs> oh, good. American state. Eight letters. It ends in S blank A. Is it, is it quite well known? I mean, the people who live there would probably say that. Yes. Jersey S blank A. Yeah. I, I know we say it's quite well. Yeah, we lived in America. I don't know why I'm looking at <laughs> Nebraska. Thank you. Nebraska. Bosh. Have you ever been to Nebraska? What do you think goes on in Nebraska? Right, I'll just, I'll need to double check that. Um, a minor earthquake, six letters, begins with a T. Tornado? No. A tremor? Okay, she's good. Tremor? Easy. Josh Peters knows his tremors from his earthquakes. Cruel and vicious, six letters, begins with an S. S for S for, for, so you think you can dance. Okay, Jamie, be cruel and vicious to Zach, and the word will come. Savage. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Eve, next question. What do you know about Indian cooking? Uh, not a lot. A clarified butter in Indian cooking. It's four letters. Oh, this one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a clue. We need Dave Warner for this. He's the yeah, he loves his food. He loves okay. his food. No, I have, I have an egg wraps for breakfast. Sometimes we eat a bit. Let me just have a quick call to the old housemates. We got it. How do you spell it? We, we believe it's something called ghee. Waterproof overshoes. Eight letters. Well, he's on overshoes, are they? Archie will know. I'll call Archie. I feel like it's a posh thing. Archie, quick one. Waterproof overshoes, eight letters. Waterproof overshoes? Eight letters, yes. What are you doing? Do I'm doing the crossword. Uh, galoshes. Thank you very much. Have you ever heard of galoshes? Midday, four letters. 1 2 pm. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, 12 pm is four letters and it would work. And um, Spanish drink, seven letters. Do you drink? No. Wonderful. Tequila. <laughs> Mexican, next. Uh, it begins with tea. Seven letters. Oh, sangria. Thank you. Sangria. A British nobleman. Four letters. A British nobleman. <laughs> Do you know many British noblemen? Yeah, I come across them all the time. <laughs> and the second letter is A. It's a title. A title. Um, A. Uh, so it's blank A, blank, blank, British nobleman. Oh. Oh. Four letters. What is a four letter word? E A. It starts E A. E A. As well, it's a type of tea. Name famous types of tea. E E A R. 
Okay, right, last one for you. Um, Scottish clan design, six letters. Scottish clan design, six letters. Oh my god, it's tartan. Bosh. Come. My dad's gonna be proud. Are you okay. Scottish? Yeah, I'm half Scottish, in fact. It's a, it's a fact. Whether it's fun is, is your discretion. Bye bye to Britain's favourite twig. Bye.